Hello, residents of Middle Earth. Oh, how happy I am to see you. Welcome to HQ Words, the word of the rings. Tonight we feature the return of the queen. That's right, I missed you so much last night, but I'm back, baby, and I am ready to rule the letters but once again. Tonight's game, if you haven't you know, realized, is all about the Lord of the Rings. You are about to put the fan in fantasy and the ring in rings. You like that? Clearly you're a golem if you're here to win something very precious too. Tonight's prize is $2,500. Ooh, that could buy some gold. But before we embark on our journey, why don't you spin the ring around my face for your letter? Ooh, one spin to rule them all, one spin to find them, one spin to bring them all, when in doubt, spell them. I'm talking about the letters, of course. What a quote, huh? What a quote. Okay, whatever letter the ring landed on is yours for the game. Guess what? It's time for the first puzzle. Ooh, the faster you solve, the more precious, precious money you can win. When in doubt, follow your brain. Here we go. Your first hint is Shire Residence. I've already mentioned these, okay? Type in S, B, and H. You know what? I wasn't here last night. I missed you. It's Hobbits. Hobbits is the answer. It's the answer to the first puzzle. You better not get this wrong. Turn your volume up, okay? It's Hobbits. They're between like two and four feet tall. They're not human, but they're related to human. Hey, did you know it was Hobbits? I'm giving you the answer because I missed you. The queen is back. And the answer is hobbits. <laughs> 181,000 solved the puzzle. 12,519, you missed out. Should have turned that volume up because I'm just giving away answers tonight. But seriously, in the chat, I want to know who is your favorite hobbit from Lord of the Rings. I want to know who's, who am I playing with? Who are the fans out there, right? Are you a, are you a fan of Frodo? Are you a Gollum fan? You got to let me know in the chat. Okay, I'm pretty sure this next one is one of my favorites. I want to know this fellowship member. Why is he one of my favorites? Because he's the dreamiest one, for sure. He's so cool, he surfs on a shield. No need for a surfboard when you have a shield, right? That's pretty cool. Plus, he could have my heart because he's an amazing archer. Just let go of that arrow. Get me in the heart. I'm talking about Legolas. You want to see Legolas? Ooh, so dreamy. Looks a lot like Orlando Bloom, doesn't it? Gotta love a blonde Orlando Bloom as Legolas. 152,000 agree, 29,038. Eliminated on puzzle two. You out of the game on Legolas. We got a Lego of you. <laughs> But we're moving on. Hey, a lot of people showed us love. So guess what? We are bringing back the Saturday morning cartoon word game. Okay, you're gonna stay in your PJs, get your cereal. You're gonna join me here at 12 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday for another bonus game of HQ words this week. I'm excited, I'm wearing pajamas, right? Saturday morning, it might be hard to wake up for, but don't worry, I will try my best not to be a fearsome sight. That's also your hint. This is fearsome because it's the antagonist of the story, right? And it's a sight, because that's a pun. This is also a symbol from the Dark Lord. <laughs> One that most can see. What is this fearsome sight? It's the Eye of Sauron, of course. Check it out. Ooh, it's scary. That is the, the Eye of Sauron. You can see it there. You saw it there. 109,000 just saw the eye. 43,363 must have closed their eyes on the Eye of Sauron. Because unfortunately, you're out of the game on Lord of the Rings. Okay, I wonder if you can see the Eye of Sauron from this place. Type in this scenic location. It's a very hilly part of Middle Earth. If you try to trek through it, the range of these stretches across 900 miles of land. Okay, someone did trivia. But let me tell you one thing about the scenic location. 
it's not very sunny. It's not, but it's misty. I'm talking about the misty mountains. Ooh, there's a little sun, but it's more mist than it is on the mountain, right? Misty Mountains is the scenic location. 89,322 solved the puzzle. 21,314 eliminated. We're about 20,000 each puzzle, all right? I don't know how many people here are Lord of the Rings fans or not, but here's the thing. What's most fun about fantasy stories like this one is there is a lot of drama, okay? Your hint is good slash bad. One of these is good and one is not so good. But ironically, they're pretty much the same thing. And that's just because it's always possible to get corrupted, right? Things, things happen. So this is both good and bad. And the answer is Smeagol slash Gollum. You know what happened when Smeagol had possession of the ring, he turned into Gollum and became pretty bad, right? Gollum is a little more evil than Smeagol. Evil Smeagol? No, <laughs> Smeagol's good. 81,056 solved the puzzle, 9,500 eliminated. It looks like no one here turned into anything bad or evil. I only see good, and that means you made it halfway through the game. Ooh, you are on your way to finding the ring. Okay, there are only five puzzles left to make it through. I'd like to make a speech. I'm gonna do it, no. Instead, why don't you tell me this famous declaration? Famous declaration. If I could sum it up, it's basically a big ol' nope. And here's another good hint. You probably remember this famous declaration from Gandalf. That's a good hint. A lot of you just got it when I said that. The answer is, here we go. I'm gonna just show you it. Here's the answer. You shall not pass. You shall not pass. Wow, I'm basically Gandalf, right? You got that. That was pretty good. 72,000 passed through this one and 9,300 shall not pass, unfortunately. <laughs> this is the end of the road here. Okay, maybe you haven't seen the movies, but have you read the books, word nerds? If so, quick, type in this part of a title. I'm talking about a book title, clearly. We've already discussed the main title of this, but this, this is the one that started it all. Okay, are you with me here? Not, nah, maybe you're in this place. Part of a title. And the answer is There and Back Again. It's the alternate title for The Hobbit. It's The Hobbit or it's There and Back Again. 50,900 got it. 22,000 eliminated on There and Back Again. I don't understand. Books used to have, a lot of older books had this where they had two titles, right? You had alternate titles. If someone wants to explain that to me, great. But that's, that's kind of strange, right? We are so close to the end of this journey, but you know what happens toward the end. An epic showdown. Which one is this? Epic showdown. Tell me, does the name Hornsburg ring a bell? Hmm? Let me tell you, a lot of fighting went down in this play. Or is the Battle of Helm's Deep? That is the answer, 35,538. You're still holding on. You're still battling through and 18,387 eliminated or you lost the battle of Helm's Deep this time. Okay, this next hint slash person was involved in a lot of battles. Who is this magic user? Okay, clearly he's a wizard, right? Magic user. And he wants a lot of power. Like, he's definitely not Gandalf, because I am. Remember? But this person should really stop causing problems for everyone. And the answer is Saruman the White. Here he is. Oh, what a beautiful photo of Saruman the White. 
with his very long white white hair. How many got it right? Thirty-two thousand five hundred fifty got it white. <laughs> Sixty-three hundred eliminated on puzzle nine. That was a beautiful image, though. Okay, last but not least, but last, we've reached the end of our adventure, and so few of our fellowship still remains. Hey, ringers, you made it to the final puzzle. I should really, I should call you wizard since you magically made it through, okay? There's only one more until we find out who goes home with the precious goods. That's good, right? Your final hint is Frodo's goal. It's a big one for the win. He went through a lot of trouble just to do this one very special thing. Frodo's goal. And tell me, is it just me or is it, is it getting very hot in here? Or is it just me? And the final answer is, I'm gonna show it to you. This is what happened, Frodo's goal. Oh, take the ring to Mordor! You just saw that ring, he was dangling there. He had to take the ring to Mordor. And guess what? You know how many people are taking the ring to their wallets tonight? 32,244 of you just won. HQ Words, you did it. Lord of the Rings, Word of the Rings. Ooh, how many people? Let's see our fastest players in tonight's game. Ooh. They're still on their way to Mordor. <laughs> and when they arrive at Mordor, here we go. Jay-Z Will, you just won $100. That will buy you a ring. And in second place, Chef Zoot, you won $75. And in third place, Moonster, $50. $50 could get you to the moon, Moonster. Woo, that is the game for tonight. Congrats to all of the winners, okay? And our latest Word of the Rings champions. Oh, I wish we had more time together, but Bilbo says he doesn't want any more visitors, which is a bummer because I wanted to catch like a late night movie with some hobbits. Oh well, I'm Galadriel. <laughs> no, I wish, I'm just kidding. I'm Anna Roisman. Follow me here on social media. Guess what? I will see you back here tomorrow night at 9.30 p.m. for another brand new game of HQ Words. In the meantime, go spend some time reading books or reading the books or watch 12 hours to catch up on Lord of the Rings, right? Signing off with the wise words off. All you have to do, oh,